to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming in. In this episode, we're going to see if we can make our tier two workbench. Uh, so I am fully moved over. Well, I actually know I'm about 90%, 90, 90 to 95% moved over uh, to the new location. I still have a few um, items, containers, um, resources, that sort of thing over at the other place. But we got all the workstations moved over and we got the majority of our stuff moved over. And uh, so our next highest priority right now is to get um, a cement mixer going. So to do that, we need a tier two workbench. And I lucked out and found the ratchet schematic. So, and we can make the ratchet in the normal workbench. So we just need all of this stuff and we're gonna have to run back to the, um, the other place uh, where we, you know, in the town that we used to live. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to think of something else that just occurred to me real quick uh, to to use that workbench there. Now, we could... Whoops. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, can I make a land claim block in... No, because I need an artisan's two table. All right, so yeah, we are going to have to to go back there. We also have Horde Day tomorrow. So... <sighs> That's going to be interesting, too. I'm not sure if I'm going to be ready for it or not. I'm going to try to be. Because um, once we can make the concrete, we can go back to our original horde base and just fortify the crap out of it and use that one more time. But the other thing i got to do is get some explosives made, too. So that means uh, I have to mine some coal in particular. I do have some resources here. Um... Not a lot, but a, a few, so we could get a little bit of gunpowder going, I guess. Uh, so let's grab that coal powder, this and this. And we are also going to need some fuel for this, too. So let me put this stuff in here for the moment. And I have uh, started making some firewood in the carpentry bench. So let's grab half of that. Bring it up here. I got a lot of work to do on the place, of course, as you can see. Uh, but the first the first thing I wanted to do was just get moved over here. So we got that taken care of. All right, well, let's make this gunpowder here. That'll give us 265. And yeah, coal is uh, what we're really super short on. And we're probably going to need some more sulfur when it's all said and done as well. Food. We need something to eat. Um, I was going to make some of this. So let's do that too. Uh, except for now we're going to need two, six. Yeah, let's throw another one of those in there. My refrigerators are not organized. They're just, they're just there. I'm going to grab that coffee and we're just going to have to eat some more canned food for now because there isn't a lot of time. So we'll throw back some of this stuff. We'll be able to replenish this canned food when the time comes. Just haven't gotten there yet, man. Haven't gotten there yet. Okay, so what are we doing? We are uh, gathering the stuff that we need to go make that ratchet. Um, and I'm pretty sh uh, shy on steel plating, so we're going to have to hit some lamp posts. Uh, let's pin this. We need three springs, five gears. One, two, three springs. One, two, three, four, five gears. And the three duct tape. Now, the other thing we're going to have to do... Well, how do we make the Tier 2 workbench? I mean, where do we make it, I should say? We don't know yet because we, we haven't learned the schematic for it. So hopefully I can make that in my inventory. I probably can. I can probably just make it right here. Okay. So we need 16 more uh, steel plating. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go hit lamp posts until I have 16 more steel plating. The zombies have really torn the crap out of things down here. And then um, we'll go over to the workbench in the other town. 
and get that and get that ratchet made, and then we'll come back here and hopefully we can make the you know the workbench. Oh, you know what else I don't have on me though? Shit, I don't have enough frames to nerd pull up. Okay, I have some frames back in the other town, so I'm just gonna go grab those. And you, we'll, we'll, we'll hit the steel pulse in the city here at uh, another time. Okay, here's our house with the workbench. Hey, you were supposed to spawn in on the other side. You too. The hell, Larry the Lumberjack? Let's make this. Oh, um, I did. I found the schematic for the auger and uh, had a few more adventures since the last episode, too. Here are some foot. Here's the footage from that. Five minutes? Holy crap. All right. While we're waiting for that, I'm going to go get some more, more steel. There's not a lot left in this town. I've got, you know, I've harvested most of it, but there's still probably some left over on this far, far end of town here. All right. We got a ratchet here. So now what we're going to do is... Head back to, see, we got to, crap, we've got to do this just to learn the schematic, and then we still have to make the actual bench, and who knows what that's going to take. Well, is what it is. Is what it is. All right, I think we're finished in this town, but it is nighttime, or just about nighttime, and I do have another load of stuff that I could bring back. So what I think I'm going to do is get loaded up and then I I might oh you know what there's another transformer right over there let's grab that um I might just hang out here at night or even go out into the forest and gather a bunch of eggs or something uh, because I don't really want to go back through the wasteland at nighttime I mean we could and we'd probably be okay but it's just you know risky as all get out so yeah I think I'll just load up uh, the bike for another load to take back and then I'm just going to hang out in the forest until morning and then when morning comes I will um, bring you guys back at that point and this is all the stuff I have left to bring by the way and I also have this water barrel and all these gas cans and I left all these engines in here because they're just too darn heavy uh, to take with uh, but, you know, we can always come back here and get them if and when the time comes that we need them. So um, other than that, everything else is pretty much moved over. I'm using the bigger bed there. I made a, uh, already made a different carpenter's table over there. So that's pretty much it for our base here. Uh, it served us well in the time that we used it, but now we're on moving on to bigger and better things. So anyway, uh, I will bring you guys back in the morning back at the Horde base. Um, in, or not the Horde base, I'm sorry, back at our, our new base in the Wasteland. And we will... There's our, our nightly Horde here. Um, we'll get this schematic made. And then after that... Alright, I better get out of here. I'm going to get get my ass kicked. See what it takes to make actually make the uh, Tier 2 workbench and then we will 
after that, make the concrete mixer because that's really the next thing we need. And then after that, um, it's gasoline. We gotta we gotta get the gas schematic going. Okay. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, we are back in the city. And uh, it's morning, but we're probably going to have to fight off a bunch of Zeeks again before we can actually get into our base. We'll see what's going on when we, once we get over here. Uh, we might be able to... We got this asshole in here. Let's back up this way. Get the fuck out of here, man. Okay, let's get up on the ladder. And then we'll just grab everything out of there, and up we go. Okay. Oh, son of a bitch, man. They gave us freaking uh, sprains and infections. Damn those zombies. Okay, so we have to put the heaviest stuff in here for the moment. We'll take uh, food... Oh, uh, yeah, we're still real heavy, so yeah, we'll put all this stuff in here. That gets us down to where we can move now. Okay, let's go up here. And I want to make some more of you. So, uh, we need four, okay, so 50 plating, 400 of those, and 20 of those. Let me get some uh, bacon and eggs going first here. Do I have any eggs in here? No. Okay. We do have some boiled meat, though, too. So let's see here. Put a couple of those in there. Get this going. And let's put this other stuff in here for now. Let me get the rest of this stuff put away too, and then I'll then we'll see where we're at here. Come here, you buzzard. There we go. Buzzard in the house. No buzzards allowed in our house. Okay, so let's see. We need 400 research points. Where am I keeping all that stuff? I think I'm keeping that in here. So we'll just grab that many. We need 20 paper, which we're keeping in here. Close enough for now. And 20 mechanicals. And 50 iron plating. That we don't we only have 17 of. So what we're gonna do is take these hundred ingots and turn them into iron plating. These pipes we're going to put in here for the moment. We're going to need to make some more of those for uh, Horde Night 2, which is tonight, actually. Uh, if we can actually be ready by then. I don't know if we will. It'll, it'll depend upon what it's going to take for us to actually make the table. Because right now we're just working on the schematic. And then we still have to make... The concrete mixer, too. We we know how to make it, but we have to actually make it. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So we're we're going to do, do what we can do and what we can't do. We're not going to worry about it. What that means, basically, is that if I can't... If I'm not ready for Horde Night, then we're just not going to do it. Because um, I have no other choice. I'll probably just hang out on the top of another building. Not this building, of course. And just wait it out. Um, because I'm afraid that if we... If we try and do it again in that same structure that we did it last time without more upgrading, I don't think we'll survive it. I mean, it was pretty intense the last time. Um, I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I'll think about it. I have, um, how much concrete do I have? I only have 91 concrete, so that is just not, not really um, enough to do much of anything with. But we'll see. Maybe we'll be able to make the workbench, and then right after that, the concrete mixer, if we have everything we need, and get this done. So we'll just see how it goes. Okay, so that is enough to make the um, uh, the thingamadoodle, the blueprint. I have the research desk up here. 
Nope, that's the artisans. Nope. Wait, where do I have the research desk at? Maybe I don't have it up there. That's the ballistics table. I'm going to move this into here once I get this fully repaired, but I didn't want to put stuff out on that until it actually gets repaired. Research, research. Here we go. Research station. Okay. So let's research this. That took my hammer. Do I have another hammer? Uh, oh, shit. I don't. Okay. I could make one of those, I think, right? In the blacksmith's forge. We need 20 more of those. I got the rest of the stuff. All right. Uh, let's grab... Got 17. Okay, so I just need... I think it takes two per... To make these. Right? Yeah, two per. Okay. So that'll allow us to make a new hammer. Because we're going to need that, of course. Six seconds left on that guy. Okay, let's learn this. You cannot use that at this time. What is... What? What What does that mean? I don't understand. Am I, am I missing something? Reading the schematic will teach you how to craft this item. I don't understand. That that doesn't make sense. Hmm. What the hell's going on here? Workbench tier 2. Use scrap drop. Material. Reading this command will teach you. I don't get it. I don't. As far as I'm aware, there aren't. Oh, do I have to know the tier one first before I can learn the tier two? Because remember, we've just been using the one we found in the world. Oh, no. I bet you that's what's happening here. Oh, shit. Okay. What do we need to make a tier one then? We need all of that stuff. Okay, well, we can do that. Um, yeah, we, we should be able to do that. Here, let's just grab all of those. All right, let's, um, let's pin this. I'm going to need 10 mechanicals. That's Yeah, that must be what's going on, because I was, like, a little confused there for a second. I need five logs. Uh, I don't know why that wrench is orange. However, we don't want to use our good wrench for that, so let's grab this shitty wrench right here. Oh, maybe what? Maybe that's what that meant. It was... Oh, it could have been because I had mods on it. I'll bet you that's what it was. All right, and then we just need to make a, a wooden repair hammer, which we should be able to do right here. We need a handle and some iron. We have a handle right here. And one piece, one piece of scrap iron. Okay, we'll craft that. Did I not grab enough logs, or maybe we must we must have used one? Okay, so now we should be able to make this. So we'll research that first. Read it, and then that should unlock this. I'm hoping that's what it is, because if that's not what it is, then I'm, like, really confused. <laughs> okay, let's read this. And now we should be able to read this. That's what it was. Okay. Whew, I was a little worried there for a second. All right, now, what do we need to make a Tier 2 workbench? We know how. Workbench tier two. Pin. Oh, fuck. 
<laughs> we need another freaking ratchet. Uh, and the rest of this isn't that bad. The ratchet, I, I mean, I can do it. I just have to go out and get a bunch more steel again. Son of a bitch. Nothing's ever easy. Nothing's ever freaking easy. <clears throat> we don't want it to be easy, though, because then it's not as fun, right? Okay, well, let's start gathering what we can gather here. So we got 15 of those. We got 10 of these. This is for making the actual workbench, right? Not the schematic. It's interesting that it wants paper. Alright, so we got paper, uh, an iron table, and a bench vise, both of which we need to make in here. So iron table requires, yeah, I, boy, I don't even think I have enough iron to do all of this. We can smelt, uh, uh more of this, so let's, let's get that going first, I guess. Oh, where did it go? Here we go. That only needs a minute and 33 seconds to do all of that. All right, now let's take all of these and just turn them all into these. Because I don't think... Yeah, the table doesn't need ingots, and then what else was the what was the other thing I needed to make? Oh, another hammer, right? Oh no, a bench vise. That bench vise. Oh, see that does require ingots. All right, well let's get that made first. So we need a couple of these, and I think it was pipes. All right, so we'll craft the bench vise. And then I think we want to turn the rest of these uh, ingots into plate. Put that back there. Oh, we need, that's right, we needed 15 scrap too. What I'm going to do is gather all this stuff up, but I'm going to store it somewhere else because the ratchet's the thing that's going to... Hold us up here. I think we needed 20 steel for a ratchet, and we have 13. So yeah, I mean, there's plenty of street lamps around. We'll just have to go around and and uh, hit those. So let's make, uh, let's see, we got 12 of those, so we need another eight, so we need 16 ingots. Oh, we've got these ingots down here. Okay, so let's make 16 of more of these. And I'm going to hang on to the rest of these ingots for now in case we need them for something else. I want to make a second hammer now because I just we need a hammer in general. Two of those. Two of those. We gotta make a handle. What do we need that uh, to do that? Three boards and a glue. Okay, let's make the second hammer. Now, what do we need for the iron table? Uh, this, go here. So we need 10, uh, another 24, and four. So four bolts. Okay, let's make the iron table. Put these back in here. Once that iron table is made, we should have everything we need to make this workbench except for the ratchet, which we're going to have to go out and get some steel. 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I don't know, you guys. <laughs> if we're going to be able to do this or not. 
Oh man, we'll see. Because the thing is, is I, um, how much grass do I have? I got 39 grass. Crap. Because we got to make pipe bombs too. Let's go let's see what we got going on here. Well, and we still, that's the other thing too, is we still have to make the frickin', uh, uh, whatchamacallit. The cement mixer too. But like I said, we'll just keep hammering away at it and we'll either be ready or we won't. Uh, we can make up to 39 pipe bombs at the moment. Or make that 22. Okay, so we got the table here. And we have everything we need now to make that. What I'm going to do is just stick all of this stuff. Okay, so it's the table, the bench vise, the iron, the mechanicals, the extra hammer, and the paper. So I'm going to put all that stuff in there. And then what we're going to do is go out and wrench some traffic lights. Let's just put all this wood in here for now. Uh, so let's do this. Let's go ratchet. Pin that. Okay, all the rest of the stuff is easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And we really just need seven pieces of steel. So let's go get that going. There it is. Oh, you know what, though? Guess what? we got to go all the way back to the other town to put make this in the workbench. That part about nothing ever being easy? Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to go do that, and I'll probably just meet you guys back here when I'm, when I'm finished. All right, guys. I've got uh, good news and bad news. The good news is that we... Managed to make a ratchet. Bad news is that I ran out of gas <laughs> uh, in both of my vehicles. I, I actually have the mini bike with me in my inventory. The motorcycle is too heavy to carry. Uh, but yeah, we ran out of arrow. Uh, arrow. I don't know why I said that. Gas. We ran out of gas on the way back. Uh, so the motorcycle is. Why is that guy running? Uh, I don't know. Uh, on the way back, uh, our motorcycle is back here. So, yeah, um, let's go back and get the, the Tier 2 workbench made, and then we'll have to see where we're at at that, that point. Hopefully we don't have a bunch of Zeeks at the bottom of the place here. Is it just you? Got another one. You're a fast mover. Not anymore. Okay, let's come into here. And get this uh, workbench made, and then, like I said, we'll see what it's going to take for us to make the concrete mixer. What am I doing? All right, so we put all the extra stuff in here. We've got everything we need to make it, so let's do it. Uh, craft it in the workbench. Are you fucking kidding me? I have to go all the way back to the workbench to make this second workbench. OMG. Really? Wow. <laughs> Nothing's ever easy. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, what's it take to make a normal workbench? I mean, considering how much of a pain in the ass it's going to be for me to run all the way back there. Um, do I have extra wrenches? I do. I have an extra wrench there. Uh Okay. 
Making the another bench vice is not a big deal. This stuff's not a big deal. I, it's going to be worth our while just to, to make a level one workstation. It's just, oh, what a pain in the ass. I mean, seriously. Jeez. <laughs> oh, All right, let's stick that guy in there. And what we're going to do is put you and you and I guess you back in there. Let's pin this workstation and see what we need. So we're going to need five logs. We're going to take our modded wrench and put it there and put, bring this one over. We need 200. Re Wait a minute. Do we... Did I pin the wrong thing? I did. Okay, I pinned the... The schematic, not the actual workbench itself. Okay. Uh, so we need to make a log table, which I think we need like three of these. And maybe some of this. And maybe some of this. Can't remember. It's been such a long time since I've made a log table. Oh, we need uh, one more of these. And some more sticks. All right, so put that stuff back in there. Now, uh, so we have the log table, then we gotta make another mallet. And let's see, that requires a handle, which I think was glue, and boards, if I remember right. Nope, I didn't remember right. Oh, yes I did, handle, right. Craft the handle first. It's too bad we have to expend extra resources to do this, but I, I, I have no time to go back there, especially since I don't have any gas, you know? It's just not going to work, so... It might be useful to have an, a Tier 1 workbench, too, because we could maybe, if we needed to, you know, queue up a couple of different things at the same time, we could use the Tier 1 and the Tier 2. Okay, we need one more of these. And now we can make the tier one workbench for goodness sakes okay now while that's cooking up we're gonna have to make another bench vise so that's gonna be 10 ingots uh, 10 ingots two springs and two pipes Okay, so let's get that crafting. All right, here's our tier one workbench. Um, for the moment, I don't really have a place to put it in here. Uh, we, I guess we could put it up here for now. I don't want it to stay up here permanently, but... So we've got the well in that room, right? So yeah, let's just stick it right here. Okay, now let's go back down and get the stuff that we need. Make the tier two. And hopefully we can make this work finally. So now we want to go back to here and we want the tier two workbench. So pin that. Grab all of that stuff. So we need 30 paper. And we need 15 more scrap. And now... Oh, and we have to go craft it in that workbench, right? That's the whole reason why we made it in the first place. Finally! Oh my goodness, what a pain in the butt that was. Okay, so let's go put some stuff away while we're waiting for that. And we have ourselves a Tier 2 workbench. Where the hell we're going to put it? Uh, we can put it right there for now. Okay, so, cement mixer. What do we need for that? We might be able to do this. Well, I think the 25 iron, though, is going to be the stopping point here. I only have... Yeah, we don't have enough iron. Uh, well, actually... If I use all the rest of the iron up that I currently have, 
We might just barely be able to make this work. Okay, so I need 20. Okay, so that'll make 19 more. Let's grab uh, all of this and all of this. And so we need to be able to make 15 more iron plating. That, that'll give us eight more. I have all of the rest of this stuff. The rest of the stuff is not a big deal at all. In fact, let's go ahead and get it queued up here. So four springs, 32 bolts. Six gears. Four bearings. Ten mechanicals. Two wires. One switch. And one fuse. And then the motor is here, here. Okay, so it's all about the iron, baby. We, we're gonna, we need to make, uh, be able to make seven more pieces of iron, which means we need 14, ah, we can do it, we can do it. Oh, boy. Problem is we don't have any time left, though. <laughs> Oh man. Well, let's just get it made. What what time is it? It's 1727. How many pipe bombs do I have? I've got 39 pipe bombs. That's not even close to enough. Oh man. Not even close. This has been probably one of the most challenging weeks in this game I've ever had in my life. I mean, just, you know, the whole move over here and everything all the fighting I had to do and all the hassle and running out of gas. Uh, what a pain in the butt, man. If I would have known it was going to be such a hassle, I might have done something differently, but probably not because I like the fact that we're in the wasteland now. <laughs> it's gonna, It can only get better from here, right? Once we get out and start looting this place, we're going to find such good loot out here, and it's going to all be worth it. But we're kind of screwed for this horde night. Uh, I just don't know what to do. I, d I don't think... If, if I had enough pipe bombs, I'd run back to the other base with the concrete I have and just come what may, but I just don't know if we can do it. I really don't think we can. Ugh, it's frustrating. It is frustrating, yes it is. Let's grab all of these out of here. And let's finally, finally, finally make our cement mixer, even though we're a day late and a dollar short getting it made. But at least we finally made it. Oh, man, that's a good feeling. All right, you guys. Well, here's the thing. Um, I don't. I I just don't see any options for myself at this point for doing the horde. So what I'm gonna do is find a roof somewhere. Um. And nerd pull up on the roof and and wait out the night. I have I I don't have any other options. I mean, I don't even know if I can get out of the city on time back into the forest biome because I don't have any gas. I guess we have a bicycle. Um, yeah, we have the bicycle there. So, yeah. <laughs> if we, I wish we had one more day. If we had one more day, we could have made this work. But we don't, you know? So it is what it is. Let's grab this food here. That water is not supposed to be in there. It's supposed to be in here. And we're going to uh, drink some water. We're actually not too bad of shape. Take a couple of these. All right, I've got nine frames on me. You know what? I'm actually going to pick these up. For now, too. Because we have a few extra frames. And we'll do the same thing here. This building could probably 
hold up to the, to the horde, but I mean, this is our new home and all of our stuff's here. I just don't want to chance it. So we got to find a different building, preferably one with some kind of shelter on it that we could just wait out the night and that can, you know, hold up to the horde for the night. So, um, let's, uh, let's head on down. There is a gas station in the forest. Oh, for Pete's sake. These guys would just non-stop, man. They're just non-stop. Okay. Let's take one of these. Get off my ladder, asshole. Let's take one of these. And get over this way. Um, I wonder if we could survive in the tower of the town hall for the night. What other options do we have here? There's that downtown hotel. The thing is, is I don't know if there's a way for the horde to get up to the very top of that place. Warehouse storage. Let's go over this way. Yeah, I think... I think maybe what we do is we go back into the forest. And, um... You know, there was that gas station that was kind of in the middle of the forest. Not too far away from where our base was. Maybe I just get up on the roof of that place and hope and pray it holds up for the night. I'm kind of, kind of out of options here, people. Kind of out of options here. Did we... Oh, you know what? There's, there's actually probably some gas there. Okay, here. I lag so bad here, man. Okay, hold on. Uh, we got this. See, it's, it's when I look that way, it just tanks my frames. Ah, there's no gas in there. Thanks, game. What about in here? <laughs> Two tiny charges of gas. I don't even think there's any fuel inside of here. Okay, well, that doesn't do us any good. Then gasoline, by the way, is the next highest priority. Absolutely got to get, the, you know, the ability to make it uh, is the very next thing we're going to be gunning for. So. Okay, so, oh, for goodness sakes. Fuck off. Okay, let's just start going going through here, and um, go. We'll go to that gas station that I'm talking about. Nerd pull up there, and hope to God we will survive the night. What else can I do, right? I I could go back to our original gas station where our base has been all along, but I still have stuff there, and that place is taken. Oh wow, nice. <laughs> that take place is taken a pounding. Anyway, and I haven't really repaired it, so I don't trust that it could hold up for the whole night. Oh my goodness, we gotta stay away from the bears. Your pain resistance skills improved to level 23. Okay, that's a good thing, I suppose. Definitely been thumped enough times. Oh, actually, you know what? I got a different idea. Um, I I made the I made the oh, what the hell's it called? Whatever the drive-in is across from our horde base, a fallback place. And uh, I think we could probably survive the night on, on top of that roof. So let's go do that because uh, well, let's look at the gas station too. We'll see. 
I'll take a look at both of the places and make a determination as to which one I think is going to be stouter. And, you know, sorry, you know, for those of you who might be a little disappointed that I'm not fighting Horde 49, I apologize because I just, <laughs> that's all I can do, man. <laughs> it was such a pain in the ass do, doing that move and it took so damn long, you know, and I did, obviously I didn't show you guys um, all of it. I just showed you one little episode. Eh, this building's actually not that stout, is it? What's the hit points on it? But, you know, it's just kind of, yeah, it's only 2,500 hit points. It's just kind of the way it, it turned out, so. Is what it is, right? Well, uh, definitely, this will probably be the one and only time in this series that I won't fight the Horde. But I just, as I've mentioned, I'm just not ready to do it. So, we're going to hunker down on the roof and hopefully survive the night. If we don't, then we die. You know, it's just all there is to it. Okay, let's go through here. But, like I said, gasoline uh, definitely is the next thing we got to be working on. Hurry Harry's, that's the place I'm talking about. Okay. What is this, uh, what's the hit points on this Grumpy's place? Okay, that's 5,000 hit point. What is the hit points on here? See, that's only 2,500. Hmm. Maybe we should see if that building could survive the night. Instead. Grumpy's Pub. That last one? Yeah, we sure can. There's one zombadoodle up here. I gotta make some more arrows too. There's so much I gotta do. Oh, that didn't kill you? I took your arm off. That killed you. This is my base for the night, lady. Go away. Okay, so we're going to have to do something about this. And that something should be probably just breaking this out, I'm thinking. Yeah, we'll just break this out. I might break that pipe out, too, just to be extra cautious here. Okay, so let's jump up here, and then we'll break out the pipe. And I, I'll, I'll stay away from this corner of the building, too, it's just so they don't even come over here. And we'll get this broken out. All right, guys, well, here's the thing. I'm going right, to wrap up this episode here. I'm going to hunker down um, tonight on this building. Um, I've, got, I've got 23 frames, so I might make myself just a little makeshift shelter for buzzards. Of course, I can deal with the buzzards. How many shotgun shells do we have? 113? Yeah. I can kill the buzzards. That's not a big deal. Um, but what I'll do is I'll keep the camera... I'll be, I'll be ready to hit the record button, we'll say, if something absolutely nutso happens. But hopefully... Um, it'll, you know, the night will pass, the building will hold up, and then, you know, tomorrow morning, we need to get about the business of gasoline, because that's really the next thing that's just totally screwing us up. And I will, uh, it's my intention to come up with a horde-based solution uh, in the wasteland um, for the next horde night. So that is the plan. 
All right, you guys. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we will catch you in uh, the next episode. Wish me luck, and uh, hopefully we'll see you safe and sound in the morning. Bye-bye.